I'm James Chow, host of The China Current. I've covered all kinds of stories in my news career that remind me of the vulnerability of human lives and our duty to protect one another. Today's story is just that. It's been a few months, but the impact, lessons and experience from the major floods in Henan will remain for a long time. Here's the recap. In July this year, huge rains came down on Henan, an area in the center of China and the heart of its civilization with over 3,200 years of recorded history. Almost 100 million people live in this one province alone, far bigger than the national populations of most countries on the planet, which makes what happened even more heartbreaking. This was not simply a weather event, but reached deep into our shared humanity. 815,000 people were evacuated, 1.1 million people were relocated, and tens of millions were affected. It's hard to believe, but even in this digital era, phone lines and even the internet were cut off at some points during this crisis, which meant that seeking help was sometimes impossible. But help was on its way from an unlikely area. On July 21st, a drone took off from Anshun in Guizhou, a province that compared to Henan is less developed. The drone took four and a half hours to travel the 1,300 kilometers to Henan, hovering over an improvised emergency center. The drone restarted communication so that people could seek help, find help, and interact with rescuers on the other side of the line. Using the local mobile networks, the drone was able to provide stable and long-range coverage within a range of 50 square kilometers. It drew on 4G and 5G technology, thus bypassing the need to depend on ground power supply and opening up communications between the command center and the disaster zone. Lives were saved as people swamped by rain and deluge were finally reconnected to the outside world. The drone was innovated in China and like GPS, the global positioning system we all use to find our way around, it was originally developed for military use before finding new applications in ordinary civilian life. As we saw in Henan, it produces excellent outcomes in emergencies and disaster relief. I've seen how drones save lives in all situations. The UN, for example, and its international partners use drones to circumvent poor or non-existent infrastructure in countries in Africa to develop testing kits and medicines as part of the global AIDS response, which means we can literally bypass difficult terrain in communities where there are no roads and drop a drone into small villages. Drones transport and provide access in emergencies like Henan and in everyday emergencies like AIDS and other health challenges. The updated drone used in Henan was made in China with improved capabilities. It flies farther distances, it stays up in the air for longer periods, and despite carrying a larger takeoff weight, it also carries more fuel in reserve. The Henan mission lasted 21 hours back and forth, to put that into context, that's longer than a passenger flight from New York to Hong Kong. This is not only a feat of technology, but a really touching reminder that innovation to improve the human condition is what really matters. I am James Chow. You're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.